Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Uh, today we're going to do a video side-by-side -side comparison between uh, the Klein MM700 and the Klein 2's ET600. The difference between the two is one is a full-featured multimeter that would be the MM700 and the other is the is a multimeter slash insulation tester. Now there are not many tests I can do with this to compare the two, besides a voltage test and do a a, a resistance test, uh, because uh, they don't really have. Well, the the client ET six hundred, which would be this one, have just basic features, other than. Uh, the insulation volt test voltages. Now, the MM700 have all the features that you would expect in a full featured uh, multimeter, a high quality multimeter. And I just want to do a comparison between the two just to, uh, I don't know, just, you know, I guess giggles in lab, just to see uh, if they're both reading the same. Uh, since they're from the same company, since they, I'm sure they have somewhat of the same circuitry in both of them, as far as the multimeter uh, uh, component are, are concerned, and I just want to see if they are if they are reading identical. Okay, uh, those of you who saw me review, I I do have a, 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 a posted on YouTube individual individual reviews of each of these test instruments here. And if you want to see that, you can go back on my channel and just look at my videos. Go to my main YouTube page and go to my channel and scroll down and you will see the, the videos that I've done individually among, well, with these two instruments and several other videos that I've done. I'm sure that you may, may even find some that you like. Now, uh, moving forward, guys, this is your first time watching my station, my, my channel. I'm going to ask you to support the channel. Not by giving me money, but hit the hit the like button, hit the, uh, uh, the 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 subscribe button, and when you do that, I need for you guys to hit the uh, uh, the notification bell that's that's right next to us, so you guys will receive a notification of all my upcoming videos. Those of you who have been doing it, I really appreciate it. You know, those of you who have gotten something out of the deal, I mean, got something out of the videos that I post. Um, you know. Um, you know, now you hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Uh, those of you who got some out of the, uh, get some out of my video, but choose not to hit the hit the like button or hit the subscribe button. I don't know, man. You, got, you know, <laughs> you guys could do better than that. Show me some love. Um, but anyway, moving right along, I'm gonna do a voltage test on these each one of these video, uh, each one of these uh, meters together in series. Also, I'm going to just check out some other little features that they both have. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. Okay, right now I'm going to just do, I'm, I'm going to hook it up so we'll get a, uh, we'll do a voltage test right here. I'm going to use the mains of 120 volts right here in the States. And we'll go from there. Okay, that's on volts AC, AC, AC. No. Okay. Let me turn the light on. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the back light on so we can use that. One twenty-five or one twenty-four. That's close enough, guys. So I'm gonna say that uh, it's, it's spot on between the two. I'm, I'm gonna say it's spot on. This is off by one digit. That's fine with me. Uh, huh. I'm looking at this. This I, I never known this was here. They have right here at the bottom of this. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's showing DC volts, nine DC nine volts. Now, I don't know anything about that. I don't see a selection, a selector switch where they have automatic where it goes between the two. But you guys see that? At the bottom of the... 
right here. It's my first time ever seeing that. You see, DC, nine votes. AC, 124 votes. I never, it's my first time seeing that. Huh. Okay. That's something new to me on this insulation tester. Um, well, anyway, let's uh, move it right along. Let me take this out. And we'll go to something else to do on here. Okay. Um, they both, as you see, one of them is much taller than the other. The insulation tester is much, ta much taller than the, uh, the MM700. It's about an inch, maybe. Uh, it's maybe an inch taller. They both have, they look identical on the back. They both have the same identical thing, the, the, the ports for the probe, the hanging strap. This one takes, um, I think it takes more, it takes six AA batteries, and this one only takes, I think, two. I think it takes two, yeah. This takes two AA batteries. The backlights are identical, you know, uh, as far as the font concerned, the number, uh, nice and bold, large numbers. They both have, this have a bar graph, this have one at the bottom. Um, and this, the only feature that this one have is volts, volts DC, I mean volts AC, DC, continuity and resistance. Um, this one have what you see, um, a temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit, microamps, AC, DC, my, uh, mill, uh, milliamps, AC, DC, 10 amps rating max. Um, off switch, volts AC, DC, continuity, diode, resistance, and uh, capacitance, hertz, duty cycle, and low Z. This one, the, this one doesn't have doesn't have low Z, but it has a um, hundred for its test test voltages. It uh, is have one one hundred twenty five volts, two hundred fifty volts, five hundred volts, and one thousand volts, and it reads up to four thousand milli uh, uh, milli ohms, mega ohms. I'm sorry, mega ohms. And, um, you know, this is a, both of them really feel nice. Both of them really, both of these meters really feel nice. Uh, they feel solid, well built. And, and uh, it's like, you you know, if you take care of it, it'll be around for a long time. I want to say the word forever, ever, but I don't want to throw that word around. But I tell you what, I, it, it'll outlaw, outlast uh, a lot of meters, put it like that. This is a re very nice meter. Both of them are. Um, so let me just see what else. This is rated Cat 4, 600 volts. Cat 3, 1,000 volts. Same here. Cat 4, 600. Cat 3, uh, 1,000 volts. Uh, let me see what else. This has a min-max hold. Min-max hold. Okay. You know about the backlight. Um, all around, this they are some very nice meters. One more thing I want to do. I wanna, I'm going to use this shot right here. And this is a two resistant, a two ohm shunt right here. So I want to use this and I'm going to see just how accurate both of them. That's about the only test I can do with these two that they do have in common other than uh, the voltage range. And, you know, I can use the D DC volts like a battery. I don't want to do that. But I'm, uh, I'm going to just use this two, uh, two ohm shunt right here. And we'll see just how well they both do. I'm going to go with the, the Klein MM700 first. And one second. I'm using Pomona probes because they're a little bit better than the probes that they have for the Klein. And I'm using um, these uh, clamps. The alligator clamps came from uh, Hayoki. Hayoki clamps. Alligator uh, croc clips. So I'm a uh, Hold on a minute. Okay. Yes, this is a two resistant. Let's see what it, what it does. No, point one. Point one ohm. Hold on, this might be, get it out as you guys can see. Okay. Make 
sure I got a good clamp on it. Let it settle. Okay, same point. Point six, point seven. Let's just give you that, okay? Uh, so now let's uh, try the insulation tester, and we'll just see how well this one does. Oh, I didn't hit the. I think that was point six, point seven two, but we'll see. Point six, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the ohms on, and I'm gonna try to test it and see what it gives me. Okay, so it gives me point one when I do the insulation test to it. Two, okay. So let me try this one again. Tell you what, I want to hold that value. I want to hold that value again. Okay, so I'm gonna do it's a resistance test, and I want to hold. I'm gonna see what it, what it gives me. Let me know it's a dead shot right there. Okay, zero. Point two. I'll hold that. And that's on continuity. So, try this again. So it's giving me point one on this one. Hold that. So I'll see what they both inspect, but um, that's the reading. Overall, guys, both both meters are really good. Both of them are solid, well built. Uh, have, I don't have anything but good things to say about them both. Uh, and on top of that, um, they are. You know, the price, price-wise, price, price wise, you're not going wrong with this at all. You're not going wrong with the price. I like it. It's affordable. And you get more bang for the buck when you buy this. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still a Fluke man. I love Fluke 2s. I love it. Uh, but you guys who are you do-it-yourselfers who, you know, who are not contractors and, you know. And then again, if you're a contractor, I, you know, you can use this. You can use this. I don't want to say that. But, you know, you, you get more bang for the buck with this. You know, that's if you you know you don't want to buy a, a fluke. Well, this client is really nice. Uh, I like it. I don't have nothing like I said. I don't have nothing but good things to say about them both. Both of these meters. Um, so, uh, guys, I don't want to hold you up any longer. I'm impressed with both. <clears throat> I'm impressed with both, and I'm sure that you probably be impressed too. I know I am. So, thanks for letting me take up your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment if you choose to. Uh, and until next time, guys, you guys take care, and peace out. Later.